What up, what up? It's your boy Dance. What's up, Dance Crew? How y'all doing today? Today we're gonna react to UFC 5, the first look trailer, the gameplay, and some features. Um excuse me. I was thinking about getting back into UFC, so this was perfect timing to see this gameplay trailer pop up. So let's see what the hell they got going on. Stepping into the octagon is a fully immersive experience. All at once, it becomes you, and it comes at you. That's the authentic feeling of mixed martial arts we've been working to capture. And with EA Sports UFC 5, this is as real as it gets. For the first time in franchise history, UFC 5 is... Boy, look at that. Don't that look like Adesanya? That shit crazy. The sweat is insane. Damn near real look. That is... Okay. Okay. Now is the gameplay solid. Powered by the Frostbite engine. And with the Frostbite engine, UFC 5 looks amazing, man. It really gave me those feelings of stepping into the cage. The Frostbite engine makes a significant impact on the quality of characters and environments. With advanced rendering features, we can deliver even more realistic looking fighters with industry leading facial animation technology. While the arts of mixed martial arts is something to behold, it does come with consequences. And I can tell you, those consequences are nasty. With UFC 5. Dang, go back to this man's face. Oh, yeah. Those consequences. Sheesh. The detail, though. The cuts, the gashes, the sweat with the blood. God dang. Are nasty. With UFC 5's all new real impact system, cuts, bruising, and swelling accumulate in accurate locations on the body and have a realistic effect on gameplay. That all starts with the foundation of the real impact system, authentic damage. Damage impacts your fighter's attributes during the game. So, if you got a cut bleeding into your eye, it will lower your defensive abilities on that side of the body. And if you take one too many kicks to your lead leg, you'll start to limp, your mobility will decline, and your attack power will drop. Guys, I'm taking some calf kicks. They look just as painful in the game as they are in the octagon. Working hand in glove with authentic damage is the all new strategic element of doctor's checks and stoppages. If you take serious damage, the ref might call in the doctor to check on you. Once you're cleared to keep fighting, you're going to have to switch up your strategy to protect that hurt area to keep- They really got a doctor that comes in and <laughs> checks on you like the real life situations. That's crazy. The fight from getting stopped. And on the other side of this coin, can you make the most of your opponent's injury until the doctor has no choice but to stop the fight? While every fight starts on the feet, it should be just as fun to tangle on the ground. We got a new seamless submission system, and it really Bro. legitimizes the ground game. This is smooth as hell. In UFC 5. The seamless submission system removes the mini games completely and functions as an extension of the overall ground game. This delivers a much faster and far more intuitive experience, keeping the action on the ground fresh and fluid. And it makes it seem, like they said, seamless, and it makes it seem much more realistic with that, instead of that, like, stop, that clunky kind of movement on the ground. Because last UFC I played was, what, play was UFC 3. Well, I played 4, but not much. But UFC 3 was the last one I actually played, played. So, and it used to be very clunky on the ground. Like you would do something, pause for a second, then do the next thing. But yeah, now that's cool. Showcasing UFC's massive presentation updates in truly innovative fashion is the all new cinematic KO replay. Thanks to the power of Frostbite, players can now rewatch the finishing blows in stunning visual fidelity. Those super slow motion finishes with all those cinematic camera angles and lighting, it really turns your knockout into a work of art. Plus, We've added improved interactions with the referee in ground and pound stoppages and added the ability to go to a draw. Hey, yo, the ref pushy up. That is dope. Okay. On the judges' scorecards and online play, which is something we know you've been asking for. UFC 5 is truly an extension of the UFC fan experience, thanks to Fight Week. An all new series of features and challenges sync with real world fight events to bring you more content and rewards than ever before, like the all new Alter Egos which let you play as your favorite fighters in their authentic career-defining moments, with up to four new alter egos dropping per month. It's a staggering level of content. Career Mode offers an all-new introduction, 
and Coach Davis is back to guide the player through their UFC career, along with help from none other than the bullet herself, Valentina Shevchenko, who crushes it as an all-new NPC. This is the best training facility in the world. There is no place like it. Then there are new cinematics, locations, and a refined focus on onboarding. And last but not least, and trust me, it's not least, if you pre-order UFC 5, you'll receive a roster of legendary at the Muhammad. Heavyweight fighters, including Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and the last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko. Oh, wow. They got... <laughs> that's just kind of funny seeing Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali in a UFC octagon. Like, that's random as hell. Fedor? Come on, man. That's too good. Thanks for joining us, DC, and thank you all for watching. We're excited for you to find out for yourselves that UFC 5 is as real as it gets. Sheesh. Oh, man. Oh, man. God damn. Oh, man. Kind of excited. I don't know. I got, like, rehyped for that. Like, that, I didn't think I would be hyped for a UFC game for a long time. But that was actually looking pretty good. Definitely going to get out on the try and see how I like that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about UFC 5 and what it looked like. What's like what's y'all opinion on that, man? Cause I feel like it's it's gonna it's gonna do something. It's gonna do a little something. It looks like they're actually taking time and giving people what they want, I guess. So and I'm not too heavy in the community, so I don't know exactly what guys want. But when I was playing, I know some of the stuff complained was people weren't too fond of the groundwork on the game. They thought it was just too sloppy. Um well, just watching that video alone, it looked like it was it was going to be much smoother than the past UFC. So, anyways, man, y'all comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think, and we out of here. Peace.